Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Derek Branch here of Strike7Sports.com. Today, I want to talk about this article that was put out um, a day, a few days ago by um, FoxSports.com, college basketball reporter John Fonda. And, you know, this article, he talks about, you know, 12 teams that could be national championship contenders for college basketball this season, 2024. 12 teams to watch. And, um,. You know, not surprising he has Memphis listed on this uh, this um list, placed on this list. My apologies, along with other few other teams, Kansas, yes, Duke, Michigan State, um, Purdue. These are and he got them in tiers though. So this is tier two right here. There's other teams, Kansas, Michigan State, Duke. They're like tier one is like clear cut favorites to win the title, but tier two you got Purdue. Marquette, um, UConn, um, Tier Three. This is where Memphis is placed at among teams like teams like Houston, Arkansas, Creighton. Um, then, well, not they're not Tier Three. My bad. He has them in Tier Four, which is the dark horse. San Diego State, among Texas, Memphis, right here, Memphis. So. I'm just going to read what he put out about Memphis and why he has them as a team that could possibly win, that could contend for a national championship this season. Penny and the Tigers looked like they were in the driver's seat a year ago against Florida Atlantic, but late, a but late collapse helped the Owls embark on an incredible Final Four run and handed Memphis other heartbreak. That's the term within all its glory. We could have very easily been talking about Memphis in the Sweet 16 last March, but this is in harsh shoes. I'm hoping the time, I'm hoping, I'm hopping, I am hopping, hop, hopping on the Tigers train because they have experience. Javon Quinterly, yeah, it's 24. Caleb Mills, Jordan Brown are, tw are 23. And Jordan Brown are 23. And if the projected starters of this team check out, nobody's younger than 21. And that's not even the, the craziest nugget on the team, on this team. DeAndre Williams, who would turn 27 in October, his request for the NCAA, for his request to the NCAA for another year of eligibility is still in limbo. Sources tell Fox Sports the chances are it will get denied. That's why I'm gonna cut it off right there, right, right there. What is this? This right up your ass, right there. This paragraph right here, and that's not the crazy. That's not even the craziest nugget on this team. DeAndre Williams will turn 27 in October. October, his request to the NCAA for another year of eligibility is still in limbo. Sources tell Fox Sports, chances are it will get denied. All right, so we'll just cut it off right there. Now, what this article is mainly about, about ranking, you know, the 12 teams he believes can contend for national championship. As for me, I'm going to talk about that in my own separate video about the prospects, the, the, the national championship contending prospects for Memphis in a different video. But I want to focus on this right up for Memphis right there, and more in particular with DeAndre Williams in regards to how he know that sources are telling Fox Sports that this waiver is going to get, this request is going to get shot down. So, um... Every review call from the stories that has been put out, Don uh, Jackson, the, the attorney who has been um, representing Williams in this case, has stated, I'm paraphrasing here, but he has stated that he was just, uh, DeAndre Williams was pretty much misguided in uh, his, his, entire, his entire basketball, college basketball career prior to joining Memphis in regards to him being eligible. You know, he had um, the year he sat out in Evansville where even though he wasn't eligible to get on the court because of the um, academic issues, he couldn't get on the court. They counted that year as a, a year against him as a year that he played. He, he had, They counted that as a year he played, but he didn't get on the court. So they counted that year against him and he missed it. So that, you know, they were saying that he played that year even though he didn't get on the court. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, John Jackson stated that he was just pretty much misguided his time, his own um, basketball career. 
You know, they're giving people around them, giving wrong advice. And from what I read is that that person, that individual that was advising uh, Williams at the time, even fess up doing the, um, you know, the investigations and all that, that he provided the wrong, inaccurate information on Williams, you know, being eligible and when Williams could play or not play, you know, and to me, man, that's 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 like that's a strong case, man, for for a player to come back, man, have another year. You know, I don't care how old he is. I'm not I'm not really concerned about that stuff. I'm not. But if a person, you know, had his information, pretty sure that they got it from the NCAA. You know, I know people have been out there saying that, you know, even myself that they believe that Williams is gonna come back this season. But nobody really knows for sure, man. And I said this in another video the other day that this is Memphis, don't forget, and that the NCAA like to drag the feet on a lot of issues. You know, when they they wanna they'll be they'll move swiftly when they wanna make a decision, when they wanna drop down a punishment or something like that. When it's come when it comes to things like this, certain aspects, they take the sweet old time. And I heard that, you know, decision could come down soon, could be coming down soon, but we don't really quite know for sure, though. You know what I'm saying? And what else I find interesting about this is that how is it that a national reporter, a, reporter, a, a college basketball reporter at the national level, at the, you know, the higher level of publication, had his information, had them sources, over somebody in the local media, somebody at the commercial appeal, somebody at um, the Daily Memphian. You know what I'm saying? How to get that information? That tends to happen a, a lot with with covering teams, man. You'll have, you know, a national reporter like Adam Schefter, um, a Woj, you know, um, Ian Rappaport in the NFL. They'll have information on, you know, coaches, you know, resigning, coaches getting fired, or coaches going to other teams before the team that before that over that person that covers that team on a daily basis in the meeting um on the beat you know what i'm saying so we just gotta man just wait and see how it's gonna play out bro and if they don't get deandre williams to come back if they do deny the stuff i still think they're a good team bro i really do think this is a really good basketball team i'm gonna talk about how far they could go in a different different video different segment but I still think it's a really good team. I still think they could they could contend for a championship, contend for a, a conference championship. I think I still think they they are better than um, Florida Atlantic or any other team in that conference, even Tulane, without DeAndre Williams, because I compare the situation to the Golden State Warriors. And when I say to compare it to the Golden State Warriors, I'm talking about when they had uh, Kevin Durant and. They really didn't need Kevin Durant to win a championship or contend for a championship. But having Kevin Durant on the court, his presence alone enhances them, enhances the roster. It gives them certain capability, the capabilities they didn't have when he was out, when he, did, when he didn't play with them. You know, and the Warriors showed that, that they could win a championship. They could be just as dominant with Kevin Durant and could be just as dominant without Kevin Durant. They just use a different strategy to attack teams. You know what I'm saying? They just don't have that, that type of presence on the court like Kevin Durant. And that could be the same for Memphis without DeAndre Williams. But, yes, I would prefer him to come back. But if they do kick the shoot the stuff down, I still think this team would be fine. But we'll know, how, we'll know for sure how true this rumor is in the next coming weeks. Um, it's, it's, it's man, pretty much we're going into September next week, you know, October, it, was, it starts to ramp up again. So we should be hearing something real soon on the situation. So we'll see how it play out, man. But that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. I just wanted to share this information. I didn't know I know about this until this morning when I saw this article come up on my time, my timeline, where I had to go check it out and what it was saying. So this guy, you know, he claims that. Jason, uh, John, John Fanner claims that um, the NCAA 
you know, so not I won't say the NCAA, but sources close to the situation are stating that um Deandre the NCAA will deny um DeAndre Williams request to get eligibility, but we'll see how it play out. Interesting that to see. I'm really looking forward to seeing if Don Johnson, Don Jackson, the attorney that represented Williams, got anything to say. Probably not, but we'll see how it play out. Please subscribe to the channel and have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.